Good morning. Good morning. My name oh, twice as nice. <laughs> My name is John C. Boggs. I'm the manager of Twice as Nice Upscale Resale Boutique, uh, which is Java's fundraising store for Mountainside Senior Living, which is in Crozet. Um, some of the ways that we support Mountainside, uh, we have a scholarship fund for seniors who cannot meet their expenses. We also, um, our funds provide medical equipment. Uh, we bought blood pressure cuffs and cleaning stations last year. Um, and we have done things like replace the fryer recently. And all of this helps keep uh, Mountainside affordable. And we can only do that because um, through donations. We rely completely on donations and our volunteers. Uh, we have a volunteer, Bevin, one of our volunteers. Our volunteers range in age from 18 up to 80 plus. Uh, and Allison's here, one of our lovely volunteers that used to be here and then uh, was in hospice. Uh, she was 92 when she left us. And so we welcome everyone. Um, our younger volunteers are our volunteers who help us move furniture. And that's really what I'm here to talk to you about today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doesn't that sound crazy? We have some young, strong guys because um, we have just recently opened a furniture gallery. And Twice as Nice is a great solution for those people who are downsizing. And so I wanted to let you know about that. Um, and as many of you know, downsizing is uh, sometimes a choice and people are thrilled and excited and uh, we are happy to help them and, and get into the enthusiasm, but sometimes it's not a choice. And I'm thinking of a woman, uh, one of my first customers that I dealt with that was downsizing. And, uh, she, and I didn't realize it at the time, she was bringing in her donations and her husband was just as happy as he could be, just loved shopping the store, and you could just see the stress on her face. And so I just took a few minutes to talk with her, and it turned out that she was being forced to downsize. Her husband had Alzheimer's. She could no longer live in the home that she had for 40 years, and she was bringing us her table linens, things that, you know, that they had shared family dinners on for years. But I took her back, I showed her how we display things. I talked to her about where the money was going. She saw how beautiful our store is because we take the time to make it look like a boutique. If you have shopped there, you know. It is beautiful. Everything is displayed love, um, in, in a, a lovely way. And more than that, nothing will be lost in a warehouse or broken or mishandled. So once she saw that, she, she felt a little bit better. But every time she came, we took the time to talk, and she looked around to see her things, some of them already sold, some of them there waiting to be sold, and it was a comfort to her, and that's what sets us apart, and that's what makes donating to Twice as Nice a, an experience for people who are having a hard time. And for the people who, you know, it, it's a choice and they're happy, they're just glad to know that their donation goes straight into this community next month. That is a big you know, difference. But for those people who are really having a hard time, we are there for them. We respect and have compassion for what they're going through. And we just so appreciate their donations. So, uh, and we now have a service, uh, we're ex able to accept furniture, which is awesome. We have a truck and great volunteers to go pick things up for those who can't bring things in. So, uh, I just want to tell you that having that experience with that woman and her, what she was going through, has changed my experience at Jabba. It, it changed my experience of what our store does. So, I just hope that you will pass that on to your clients, to the people that you know, and encourage them to donate to us. Thank you.